Hello everyone and welcome to the CS1501 week 5 lecture on the C++ build tool CMake. So today we're going to cover what CMake is, why someone would choose to use CMake, how you would use CMake whether it be through a GUI, through an IDE such as Visual Studio Code, or through the command line. Then we're going to do a demo using Visual Studio Code. So what is CMake and why would someone choose to use CMake? It's actually a cross-platform build tool which allows developers to compile, link libraries, run tests, install files and in system-wide directories, and create reusable make files from source files. It allows developers to create write once build configurations, and these build configurations are actually at high-level abstractions that are highly portable to many operating systems. So why would someone choose to not use CMake? Because CMake is actually language specific to C++ and developers can't retrieve third-party libraries or packages such as with Python's pip or Java's Gradle. Someone may also choose to use another build tool due to personal preference or due to employer standards because employers might require that they use different build tools. So how would you use CMake? You could use CMake through a GUI in Windows, which makes it easier for Windows users to create make files. You could also use CMake in any IDE, basically, that supports C++. You can also use CMake through the command line, as you'll see soon. So below in the description, I actually attached this video, which gives a pretty simple example of how to use CMake through the command line. Now we're actually going to go over how someone would use CMake in the command line. So to begin with, you have to create a CMake list text file in the project's root directory. This text file actually controls CMake and tells it what to do when you run it. And when you run CMake, it creates the make file, which is a configuration file for the make command. After you make the text file, you have to create a build subdirectory and then change directories to that build subdirectory and invoke the CMake command. This command makes a make file, which you would run using the make command. Make is actually on many machines and it's a very powerful tool, but its config files are actually hard to write and not very portable. So let's demo using Visual Studio Code. So first we're going to go over the source file and its hierarchy. So the boost file and the plog file here are library files because as mentioned in the, in the slides, CMake does not have a um, library installation manager such as Python's pip or Java's Gradle. So you must manually install the library files to your machine. You can actually put these in any um, general area on your hard drive. They just have to be not hidden from CMake. So an easy place to put them is just to put them into the, into the, the source folder. We also have a greeter folder here, which is just a header file for the main program. It's not anything that would be specific to CMake. It's just specific to this um, demo. So here is the CMake list text file, which we talked about in the slides. And we're going to go through that real quick and just explain that. So what this does is it tells CMake what to do when you run the CMake command. So it gives a minimum required version, and then it sets the version of C++ here. Then you also want to give your, your project a name. Here we named it My App. Also, another thing that you would want to know is that everything with pound signs in front of it is a comment. So here we add header files and other files that we would need for the project. And then here we include directories such as the plog, logging library, 
below that we include the um, boost library using the find package command this is used to find various directories to be included into your project one thing to note is that before we reconfigured this make list file there is an error and we rewrote this boost find package um, the lines of code um, using a Google search so if you have any problems creating your CMake list file you may want to Google for documentation on various commands um, used in writing CMake list files we will link links to these libraries in the video description so let's go to VS Code and compile and uh, run this command this um, project so initially you'll want to install the CMake extensions for VS Code which are CMake and CMake tools We'll link those extensions in the video description below, but they just allow you to use CMake in VS Code. So first you'll want to go to File and then Open Folder, then select your project's main directory. You want to open that folder and then press Control shift p to open Visual Studio Code's command palette and then run the CMake configure command. This will create the build subdirectory in your C in the folder that you're trying to build. And then you'll go to the CMake tab on the left in Visual Studio Code. And under your app, you'll go to the right of it and then click the build button. This will build your file and give you an executable to run your file. So after you build it, you can right click it and then run it in the terminal, which will give you your program's output. After building the file, you also get a, an executable file, myapp.exe, which is named through your CMake list file. This file can be ran all, as well, but this project actually makes the file the executable close directly after running so we ran it in the command line so that we could see the output this actually concludes the cs 1510 week 5 lecture on the c++ build tool cmake if you have any questions feel free to ask any of the tas or make a post on piazza all links to documentation and um, source files or library files are in the description of the YouTube video. Thanks again and have a good day.